Hi Church. I want to share with you one verse from Mark chapter 12. And it is where Jesus is asked, what is the greatest commandment? And he says, the foremost is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. And I think when Jesus breaks up those four things, your heart, your soul, your mind, and your strength, it's not as if they are four separate things. And sometimes we love God with our strength, and sometimes we love him with our soul, and sometimes we love him with our heart, and sometimes we love him with our mind, and we get to pick and choose. I think that the implication is that we are to love him with our whole being and that is, is to permeate everything that we do. And I think that's especially important to remember during this time that we're in right now with our upcoming election, when there seems to be so much um, discord, so much dissension, so much kind of um, combat, even between believers. And I would say that that is clearly anti-scripture. Um, you know, the Bible tells us that our identity is that we are children of God. Our primary identity is not our political party. It tells us that our allegiance is to be to Christ. Our allegiance isn't to a philosophy of conservatism or liberalism. It is to the God who created us, the Savior who died for us. And it tells us that our people are to be the people of God. Not that we don't care about anybody else, but that we have a special relationship with those in the body of Christ because we have been bought with the blood of Christ because we are the bride of Christ together. And so during these days, I would encourage you, pray. That's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to pray for our leaders. We're supposed to pray that God's will would be done on earth as it is in heaven. Be informed, know what you're voting about, know what you're talking about. And when you don't know what you're talking about, keep your mouth shut, keep your fingers off the keyboard, and then vote. Take that responsibility to go out and, and make the changes that you want to see or support the issues that you want to support. But remember that we should never cloud our identity we should never confuse our allegiance. We should never corrupt our relationships by anything outside of that love for our God and Savior. So know that I'm praying for you today. Know that we as a church are praying as we lead up to the election. Know that we will continue to pray after the election. But let's remember who we are and what we're here to do. And that is to love God with our whole beings to not separate ourselves into a spiritual person and our political, our political person, but that we are to love God with all of who we are. And we're to love one another that way. And we're to love our neighbors that way. And we're to act on that love.